Hello, welcome to another Food Sack. Today on the show, I'm in the epicenter of fine dining in Australia. That's right, I'm in Beanley Town Square. And today I'm looking at the 7-Eleven Traveller Pizza. Now they've had Traveller Pies for a while, but today I'm looking at the Traveller Pizza. Now, I know this is intended to be eaten while you're driving, maybe in a taxi or a truck, but I thought that would be a bit irresponsible for me to hold a camera and drive at the same time. So I'm gonna see what it's like when I'm walking. And I thought no, I could do two things here. I could also test the 7-Eleven Traveler pizza to see how it withstands being eaten while walking. And also see what happens when you wear a red beret down the main street of Bean Lee. So kill two birds with one stone, see what happens there. Just opening it up. See, uh, you can see what it looks like here. Obviously, we have the pepperoni. Uh, love at first bite. We're going to see if that's true. As you can see, it's 350. Let's see if it's worth it. Ooh, it's a little, uh, it's a little bit slimy. I don't know how you would go about doing this while you're driving, but anyway. I'm doing this one-handed in order to maintain the integrity of the evaluation. Let's see how it holds up in transit. All right, just gonna give it the first bite, see what that's like. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Huh. Very warm and gooey. You can see, like it's quite thick. Has a crusty outside. It, um, it's definitely holding together, which is good, I suppose. If you were driving a taxi, you wouldn't want it falling all over your crotch. Yeah, it's. As far as pizza goes, it's definitely not the best pizza I've ever had. It's really salty. Pretty strong pepperoni flavor, which I guess is not bad. Seems to have like bits of ham in it. Never had a pepperoni pizza with ham on it, but this one's all right. Hang on, I almost got hit by a car then. I don't think people are paying attention. I have to say, the Red Beret is not getting a lot of attention, which is fair enough. It's really not the weirdest thing that you would see on the main street of Beanley. I'd just like to point out that I'm on the main street of Beanley, but not Main Street Beanley. There is a there is a street called Main Street, but there's not actually anything there. It's Well, there's stuff there, but it's, it's not the main street. The main street in Beanley is George Street, so I'm on George Street, if you're interested. Um, now, I'm not sure where it is, but there either used to be, or still is, I don't know, the offices of uh, the local MP, Bert Van Manen. Now, I don't want to get into politics too much, but I will say he is the only MP brave enough to talk about the sizzler at the Hyperdome in Parliament. I look forward to coming back to the community and celebrating this great anniversary and enjoying a slice of the famous cheese toast at Sizzlers. Which I think shows a lot of guts. So good on him. There's a train there. Look at that train. Shout out to all the train fans watching. All right, well, this is almost done. That didn't take as long to eat as I thought it would. It was, um, there we go. I don't know. It definitely held up. I can see myself driving a big rig while eating that. Probably not the best thing you can buy at 7-Eleven, really. Notice they started selling sushi there now. Maybe that's better. I don't know. Well, oh, hang on, just uh, a construction over there. I, I heard, I heard that that might be a Taco Bell. So, you know, watch this space. Pretty exciting. 
So get yourself a 7-Eleven Traveler pizza, or don't, it wasn't that good. Have a good one. Get in the bin. So there we go, it seems the people of Beanley don't really care about people wearing berets, at least but not enough that they would yell something from a moving car, which I found a little bit surprising and perhaps a little bit heartening, really. Who knows what people thought as they walked past, and there was one car with an open window that drove past, and it kind of sounded like a woman said, have a look at this guy, but I didn't quite hear that. It's a shame that Bert Cheese toast. Van Manen wasn't in his office. In fact, I'm not even sure if that's his office anymore. I did want to catch up with him, just to nut out some ideas about Sizzler with him. I know he's a fan. So the 7-Eleven Traveler Pizza, if you want a slice of pizza where the toppings don't fall off, if you're driving or walking through a regional town, then I guess that will do. But otherwise, just get some real food. Like I think a sandwich would be better. Just get a sandwich.